Could you please introduce yourself and tell me what course you teach? Yeah, my name is uh, Jackie Ketta, and I got my PhD in microbiology at the University of California in Davis. And I teach uh, MCB 301, which is an experimental microbiology uh, lab class. It's a three credit hour class that counts as a advanced lab for MCB majors. And I've uh, taught it, taught it um, since 2006. When is your course typically offered? So MCB 301 is taught in the fall and also taught in the spring. Please give me a brief overview of what is covered in your course and what are the learning goals. So this is a, a lab class. So you learn um, basic fundamental techniques in microbiology. Um, if you want to work with microbes like bacteria, you have to know how to handle them and, and use aseptic technique and um, uh, learn how to grow them up and um, uh, how to look at them, stain them, and use the mi microscope, uh, do biochemical tests on them, and um, also in the class you uh, conjugate them and make them to transfer genetic material from one cell to the other, and you um, create mutants of uh, bacterial cells. So learning goals, I mean learning basic uh, microbiological techniques and, and analyzing data uh, would be the main goals. Um, what is the format of your course, as in how often does it meet? So a student has to um, sign up for lab sections and they meet twice a week, um, like Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they meet for up to two hours each session. Uh, there's also a lecture portion to the course that meets uh, once a week for 50 minutes. How are students in your course graded? Okay, so there's a thousand points possible and it's broken down the following. Um, there's uh, exams, there's three exams and a final exam, each worth 100 points. Uh, there's also a lab practical that's worth 100 points. Uh, then there's pre-labs, quizzes, homeworks, and the lab reports and worksheets uh, that are due. Historically, which portion of the grade breakdown do students struggle most with? Uh, usually they uh, struggle most with the exams and the homework uh, questions, um, mainly because there's uh, a lot of short answer questions on those uh, exams and homeworks and, and you have to think more. So uh, I think they struggle more on those types of questions. Are there points associated with attendance? Okay, so this is a lab class, so students have to attend lab, and uh, but if you uh, are late to lab or, or miss lab, have an unexcused absence, uh, you will get some points deducted from your total score. The lecture part, uh, there's no points associated with that, we don't take attendance, uh, but I want to stress that I do recommend strongly that students go to lecture. Uh, for several reasons. One is um, uh, I think students get more out of the lecture material when a professor is out there uh, presenting it and, and they see it and hear it. Um, also they can interact and ask questions during the lecture so they can get more out of it. And uh, also uh, I might present material in the lecture that's not in the lab manual or the lecture handout and um, I might ask a question on the homework or uh, exam um, on that material. So I always recommend that students go to the lecture. Um, are there any required textbooks for this course? Well, there's a, a lab manual that you have to um, purchase, and uh, each semester come up with a new one, so you have to get the one for the current semester. You can't use an old one. And you also have to buy a, a laboratory notebook that you write your uh, experimental results in. Uh, you also might want to use a ruler and a calculator. Um, what kind of background knowledge do I need to take this course? Are there any prerequisites? So there are prerequisites. Uh, you need to take MCB 250 molecular genetics and MCB 251 was which is a techniques, techniques in, in molecular biology. In, in molecular biology. Uh, that's a lab and uh, also a prerequisite is, is MCB 300, which is a microbiology class. How do topics covered in your course apply to current research or medical or even scientific advancements? Well again, um, this is a lab class and, you're, and you're, uh, you learn basic microbiological techniques, so um, th those would apply if you, if you 
we're doing any uh, research with microbes. What opportunities do you provide outside of class for students to ask questions or get assistance? Okay, so I have uh, office hours uh, twice a week. And uh, if you can't make it to those hours, then you can email me and uh, you can find a time to meet. Each of the TAs, there's uh, like this semester there were like five TAs, they each have uh, office hours for one hour per week that they have at the MCB Learning Center. Uh, you don't have to go to your particular TA, you can go to any TA's office hours. Uh, also, um, you can email us questions, uh, but if you have a long list of questions, uh, I recommend that you come to the office hours. It's easier to, um, to answer those kind of questions. Uh, but if you have like one or two, you can email us. Um, what is your favorite experiment that the students perform? My favorite uh, experiment, and I think it's also the favorite of the students, is uh, the identification experiment. Uh, where they have to identify uh, the bacterial species they have in their mixture that we give them. Uh, we give them these unknowns and uh, they get to use all the uh, techniques that they learned in the class like streaking the plates and uh, uh, gram staining and using the microscope and do the biochemical tests and it's kind of fun. You know they have to work on their own. It's kind of fun and um, trying to identify these unknowns um, how helpful do you feel the lab material is in helping students understand other courses in the MCB curriculum? Well, there's a lot of other MCB courses uh, that are related to microbiology. So um, you're learning the techniques and, and they may talk about growing organisms in their class and you can say, oh yeah, I did that. And, and so it's just going to help reinforce the material uh, in those other classes and make, make it easier to understand what's happening. How would you describe the workload for this course? Is there an estimate of how much time students will spend outside of class? Yeah, I don't think um, it's a heavy load. Uh, the important thing here is um, it is a lab course and you do have to be prepared when you get to lab. So you have to read over the, the lab manual and understand what you're going to be doing uh, in the lab. Um, if you understand what you're going to be doing and, and why you're doing it, I think you're going to get more out of the lab experience. So you need to be prepared. You also need to be organized because um, uh, there's uh, several things are due at different times, pre-labs and quizzes and homeworks and other lab reports and some uh, exercises kind of overlap. And so you need to be organized. And, and so that takes time to, to organize yourself. And um, uh, is there an estimate for how many, how much time students will spend outside of classes? It's, it's hard for me to, give you a number um, uh, because uh, each individual requires a different amount of time to um, prepare. Um, you know, there is a general rule where one credit hour uh, requires about three hours outside of work, uh, outside of class to study for, but uh, I'll just leave it at that. Are there lab practicals in this course? And if so, what is the format? Yeah, there's a, a lab practical that we give at the end of the course. And uh, the format is, is a hands-on uh, work at the bench type lab practical where we test you on um, how, how well you streak uh, the organisms, how well you gram stain them, can you use the microscope, and can you do dilutions and read uh, biochemical results. So the format is uh, being at the bench and, and doing the work and uh, we test you on that. How do the lectures facilitate the laboratory portion of the course? What do you gain from MCB 301 lectures that you might not have gotten from MCB 300? So I, I give a, a lecture and um, it's good for you to come to lecture because I kind of uh, present what you'll be doing in the lab. So I'll go over the experiment and kind of break it down and kind of give you the highlights. And um, uh, MCB 300 is good to have. Um, um, because it's a lecture on microbiology, so you should take MCB 300. Um, and I, I may not have mentioned this, but um, ideally you might want to take 300 before you take 301, but you can take it concurrently. And uh, if you're taking con it concurrently, um, uh, at least you'll have the uh, um, textbook that they use, and if you need to look up anything in, in the microbiology textbook, you can. Um, so 300 is an is, um, overview of everything microbiology related. 
um, my lectures for 301 concentrate on what you're going to be doing in the experiments. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your course? Well, uh, I think it's a, a fun course. I think students like it and um, have fun in the lab and they actually get to work with the microbes, um, uh, grow them up and um, identify them. And um, everyone likes microbes. I mean, who doesn't like microbes? And, uh, um, and it counts as a three hour um, MCB advanced lab course for MCB majors. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you.